So once I, once I tell it where those hash marks are, then it can figure out what supposed to be blue and what's supposed to be red and all that kind of stuff. So I click on here, I zoom in, there we go, and I just go grab this little pointer dealy here, that thing, that's its technical name is pointer dealy, and I, all I do is just tell it there's a hashtag right there, I'm going to increase the size of this, no, maybe if I go this way, no. So um, there's another one, and there's another one, and there's another one. There, see how it found them now? So now it knows where everything is because I told it where those hash marks, because it couldn't see them, because it was too far away and too blurry. But it doesn't matter that the colors are blurry as long as it knows where the hash marks are. Now I have to go to the next one, and I have to zoom in on that one and do the same thing. I just have to tell it where those things are. So let me just scan over to here, grab this, click there, click there, click there, and click there. And now I'm going to create the profile. It's asking me what I want to name it. It, it thinks I want to name it Canon EOS Mark III, but I want to name it uh, Outdoor Canon EOS Mark III. Hit save. It's saving it out, and then it's going to ask me, it's going, it's going to tell me it's not available till I quit. So I'm going to quit Lightroom right now. And it's going to save out this profile, and it's putting it into, um, telling me it's successful, I can quit the program now. And now I'm going to relaunch Lightroom because it, Lightroom only sees things when it's opening. And so profiles only are available to it. Now if I go in here, you can see if I go to the develop module now, this image is going to change based on, if you go down to the camera calibration area, right here is, and by the way, there's that process version. See that? 2012, 2010, or 2003. We're in 2012. I have Adobe Standard, which is what's normal. That's what Adobe ships with. That's what it expects you to use. Generally, I find that camera neutral is better, but sometimes Adobe Standard is better. Um, and you can see that I've got all sorts of different, these are all from uh, Visco. They create some really cool film presets. Um, so they've just been, you know, busily taking pictures and changing profiles for you. Um, but if you go down to the bottom, where is it? Uh, outdoor Canon, uh, there it is right there. Outdoor Canon EOS 5D Mark III. So let's zoom out and let me show you what this looks like. If I go from Adobe Standard to Camera Neutral, watch the colors change. See how they changed? I'm going to go to Portrait now. See how they're changing? So this is Camera Faithful. Now watch what happens if I go from, I'm going to go to Adobe Standard. Now watch what happens if I go to Adobe, the one we just made. See how subtle those changes? But the blues changed quite a bit. So now, if I, I have that profile and it's available to that camera anytime, it won't be available to your Nikon because your Nikon's not the same camera. 